Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. All right, welcome back. And now we have the next match of top eight for you guys. Net Battle's own Duel Kevin versus Random High Fives. And the biggest question is, can Random High Fives compose himself after yeah. an unfortunate, unfortunate <laughs> malfunction at the worst possible time? Right. But as honestly, if y'all notice, this is a different stick. Oh yeah, he is. I mean, you city. you ain't like you definitely not testing that stick oh. ever. <laughs> You're gonna make the same mistake yeah. twice, especially with Yo. something like that. Could have moved on to winners finals, you know. And now you gotta play against Duel Kevin, which yeah. is gonna be one of the slowest matches yeah. <laughs> that you've yeah, ever seen. Especially that. But he's used to it as a Geef player, Welcome. right? You gonna have to play slow in some matches. That's so. true. You gotta have the patience, and especially now, you know, Tool's just not as strong as he used to be, but. Never shoot, so we'll see. But also, you know, the thing about Dual Kevin is that he don't he does struggle against grapplers at, from time to time. Mm. Even though he plays characters that typically just out zone yeah. grapplers in a lot of games, one. like he still he, he does not like the playstyle. I can tell you that much. That's true. I think it's the mind games too. That, uh, the, uh, the mind games and just the fact that you know he he just really hates when you have to hold forward. <laughs> And that's what you have to do is yeah, you have to be brave like this. Yeah. That jump right there. That like, jump right there. You got to be brave like that. Sometimes you just you can't react. You have to like just read it. Mm -hmm. But oh, that might have been a punch. No. And then, no, okay, but he, at least he's gonna walk himself out of that corner. That's true. He's gonna stand Ooh, oh, nice. Punished by a dual Kevin. Find and his way you, out. Yeah, and you see just the range that Kevin just wants to say. He kind of knows where the range is. No anti here, no jump in from either player. Oh, the dash of SPD. And I get some little okay on this. Oh, oh and he loves trying to test you with that reset. You gonna test it again? It didn't work out. He's got some life to burn, so you know he's like, why not? Yeah. Woo. Nice speed trigger. He's gonna spend it all to get the air SPD Knocked into out. a mix-up. There it is. My five take the first round. Yeah, but it's a slow play, but then once he's get, got you in that mind game, you can make it work. Sure. That chase down with the SPD is really what changed that thing. It was a strong read, even in the first round. Oh, what a jump! And again, like we said with Ro and him first Rob, is that his jump timings are immaculate. As a grappler, you really have to get a yeah. feel for like, your player, not necessarily your character. Matchup always gonna be hard as a grappler, but mm -hmm. once you know the player, it's, it's a lot more easier. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and that's <laughs> a change at 3.5. It's not gonna go through anymore. That's true. You gotta stay here. And because of that change, look at how far in the corner he is now. He has to hold that. Oh, what an anti air! Great reactions, too. Keep a little fresh counter. Roundhouse V trigger. Not gonna be dead, but he gets the setup, and he has this strong corner, corner pressure right here. Wow, with jab SVD, what a guy. Random high fives on the board, 1-0. Kevin, definitely on his back foot right now. Still two out of three, so. And I think the, the best part is that, you know, random high fives still looks composed. Definitely. And he did have a little bit of time to compose himself. So yeah, you good. know, he let all this do best to see yeah. out, you know. Get himself collected. Kevin is going to have to do the exact same. Although, you know, he's not the type of person that really shows up. Right. Should, you know? He's cool, calm, and collected under yeah. pressure. He really is. Fight. Well, let's see what adjustment he can make. Oh, wow. I like that Kevin is trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Just yeah, a little bit more active, yeah. even. Yeah. Trying to react to everything in this slow paced match is really hard, yeah. actually. Like, the faster the matches, I feel like it's easier to react. Yeah, because you get yourself into a rhythm, whereas, like, you're just waiting for something. Right. Slow paced matches like this is oh. And now, oh my kind of fierce. Into it's a SVD. Oh, oh no yeah, he five. definitely tried to, to read something there. Oh, he's trying, trying to put a random high five pat. Yeah. Oof. He's all the hits. Stuff the uh, EXSD, I believe. Yep, and just walking forward and pressing crouch jab. Yeah, that's such an integral part of Geef's yeah. neutral game. That's true. Look at that, just by slowly walking, he's basically walked Kevin halfway to the corner. Oh, also the threat of the too, but now oh, right. Ooh, Kevin gets under, and now he gets his own corner, and his own feature now. Ooh, still strong. 
Uh oh. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, he what a read. Read. He yeah. waited too. Yeah, he, just to confirm that he jumped. Yeah. Oh, he's put in the blender now. I have to. But yes. he doesn't have a uh, meter to get the ear XPD. Set, Set up! up. Same what? Side. Same side. That's ridiculous. Shades of Street Fighter 4. <laughs> right. And random high fives is on match point. Oh, Kevin's got to do something. And a lot of Rashid's normals, like you see there, the Crouch Fierce is a lot easier to whip punish in this version. He whipped it, he whip punished it with headbutt. It's yeah. ridiculous. That's a great choice. Ooh, oh, another see, one. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely feeling the nerf there. And now the space on high five side is... Right. You would, you would think that he would get that type of like benefit, but... Well, great sweep, punishes. though. Walk up, crouch, jab. <laughs> so scary. It's so, it's so scary. Yeah, it's so simple. Ooh, small punish on that. Yeah. I actually don't know if it's. Ooh! He went, let it whip and then went in for the dash in SPD. I like the timing on that third jab right there. It was really good. Just to see if he's going to jump. Mm. Oh, right. Whip punish. God. He's whip punishing with SPDs. Oh. And the reset. That's Dual do Kevin it. wasn't ready. That was a wash. That Random was a high five. Chicago's own takes out net battles duel Kevin uh, out in fifth place. As an Indiana person, I have to hold that. That's really painful. Yeah, but, Ke Kev has to hold that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was outplayed. Yeah. Very slow too, but like once you can start to get those whip punishes, those jump timings, like. Huh. Okay, so up next we should have. Um, our own Arturo Sanchez versus oh. uh, Dom, Diablo Bison. Diablo. Oh, yeah. So here's the funny thing about this. Last year, 2017 clutch, top eight, there was Diablo Bison versus Arturo Sanchez. I believe it was the first match of top eight. Yes, it first was the match. first match of top eight. They did losers first. Yes. And, you know, it <laughs> didn't look pretty. Yeah, for Diablo no, Bison. It was quite gross. And it, it started a string of having to figure out the sim matchup. He went uh, to so many different sims to try to figure that out. And then the funny thing is right after that, shortly after that, mm -hmm. guess who we played in the final round in 2017? Same person. Arturo Sanchez. In the pool. Uh, Did a little was... bit better, but still got washed, I yeah, would say. It was pretty bad. <laughs> so now, you know, a year later, uh, a, a year and like two months later, yeah. we are back at the same stage. Let's see what Diablo Bison has in store for us. Yeah, he has plenty of time to like learn the matchup. He yeah. also played many games against True God as well. Yeah, yeah. True God. We games against True God. Shoutouts to Mateo. Eric Mateo. Yes, out of Chicago. So like, Chicago has. I mean, in general, the Midwest has some sims. So. That's true. So uh, I know he's been grinding yeah. out this matchup pretty well. So uh, and we'll see what he got. Yeah, but you know it's Arturo Sanchez, <laughs> yeah, of course. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But it would it would be interesting to see how much, uh, especially considering how bad it looked last year. Yeah. How much he's grown since that point. Yeah. Love to see what he's got mm -hmm. in store. I mean, heck, on our jersey we have. Arturo's <laughs> logo. Yes. So if he washes the man who has his logo on, they hey, eyes are on you. All right. So yes, we have Indiana Zone, <laughs> Diablo Vice versus T S Saban. It's going to be Bison versus Sim. And here we go. Dom's gonna opt for V Trigger One instead of Two this time. And the big thing I remember uh, that happened last year is that Diablo Bison would just EX Devil Verse when he ever got the chance. And yeah. Sabin had all the answers every time. Yeah, slide evasion was really a big key in uh, shutting down the Devil's Verse. So he needs to find an answer besides that. Yeah. See what he gets. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Do something else. <laughs> I'm trying to air to air the limbs. Yeah, that float. Yeah, I. I could see Bison having trouble with that float, trying to deal with it. Yeah, he baited the scissor kick, so just the float movement. Especially with Bison's slow walk speed, how do you move in? How do you move in safely? Just outside the range of scissor kick. Right. Show space. Really yeah. Cool. Oh! The EX Cycle Blast. I already got the yeah. meter. The EX Cycle Blast to um, catch the limb, actually. 
Jump it. Jump it. No, nope, no dice. But he's still a little bit closer, honestly. Might have more worth it. Uh, but that V-Trigger 2 is active. Ping -pong. Playing ping pong. Ooh. No plus. plus frames. Another V-Trigger. Another V-Trigger. Gonna have to hold that. We got oh. tagged. Yes. Maybe, yeah. Maybe he thought it, it was actually counter hit. I thought he maybe he thought it was gonna cross up, but I think he just hit a button or something. Yeah. Round two. Try to punch it back. Or maybe try to reflect it. Mm, okay. This time to you know. What? Okay. Jump back. Medium punch. <laughs> he thought he did the range. But yeah. Harjo's like I know. <laughs> More plus. Just all the plus phase. Gets away. Though. Yeah. Doesn't want to deal with any of that anymore. Ooh, oh, no. that stuck the fireball. Right into it. Yeah, no dice. All the space from Montreal. He's taking full advantage of it. Well, nice to see him. And now he's got pressure. Ooh, another challenge. Ooh. And the jump back, medium punch. Yeah, I'm surprised he's going with jump back instead of jump forward. Right. Mm. He's getting clipped with a lot of normals. Another anti air from Montreal. Yeah, so you can see some uh, homework done. Look at some the animation. Oh, <laughs> slippery. The movement. Man, it's really... Oh, man. Whoa. And another thing you have to keep in mind, although, like, it's been a year since they last played, V-Trigger 2 is a whole yeah. different beast. It's Go. a total different ball game. And here's the thing, is that we mentioned strong sims from the region that Diablo Bison plays with. None of them really use V-Trigger 2. That's like true. That. They all stick with one. Yeah. And Arturo's and it's probably. definitely a preference, but yeah. yeah it's definitely a preference because they're both solid, but um, mm -hmm. I think um, using it here is really interesting because, like you said, no one really uses two, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of unfamiliarity there. So. And, and Diablo Bison elects to go to characters select. I wonder if he's going to try V-Trigger 2. I would like to try it just simply because I think Psycho Crusher might yeah, be a decent Psycho option. Crusher and the threat of a Command Grab can give you more mix-ups. So. Well. we'll see how yeah. that goes. Yeah. But he's taking some time to think about it. Yeah, because also you got to like get close to pop that V-Trigger yeah. too. I know like Diablo likes to like use his special moves to get um, V-Trigger too. Mm -hmm. so, um, maybe, you know, sometimes it's just better to like sit back and have the threat of Psycho Crusher to like react to something. But did you see? He changed the win quote. Wow. And what? you know what the win quote said? What? It said maggot. Maggots? Maggot. Oh, wow. Exclamation. <laughs> okay. So let's see if he gets to <laughs> relish in that win quote. Let's, let's see and Diablo goes. Bison did stick with V-Trigger 1. Round one. So no change there. Yeah, Fight. probably wants to use the dashes more than the V trigger. Right. But he didn't really get a chance to pop it though. That's what I was trigger. saying. That's why I was wondering yeah. if he was gonna try and V trigger too. Yeah, I think Psycho Crash would have been a good option to react to a lot of projectiles. Let's yeah. see what he got. Up. Plus frames. Oh, Damn, the oh my god. Young Art is going in. He's going in. Oh my Stunt. god. This is our second perfect of the day. That's all oh. I've been seeing from him. Like right. all weekend. Purpose, purpose. Can't deal with the offense. And it's such a change of pace, right? Because those first two rounds, he slow played it. And then he just decided to go in. That's such a big mind uh, freak. That's true. You gotta, yeah, you gotta go from like, okay, I gotta try to get into, I gotta react. Yeah. <laughs> that's really rough, especially with a very movement heavy uh, player like Arturo. And that's such a nice. hall, that's such a hallmark of an uh, experienced player, just to be able to switch up your style in an instant like that. Oh, nice slide, slide under. Yeah, I think I, he's okay with that trade. Of course. It didn't really work out for Arturo the way he thought it was. But Ooh, still dash one up. The jab challenges from Arturo. Oh, <laughs> slippery. Like, trying to keep him on his toes. He triggers going to counteract. Oh, he's just staying in the air. Doesn't want to deal with anything on the ground. The floor is lava. <laughs> oh, oh wow. no. Got this the ground to teleport. This is Diablo by some chance. Well, he's just going to choose to back off. Still has his V trigger active, too. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, I had Arturo. Oh, yep, back turn. Are coming in? Yeah. Wow! Oh, the reaction. Ooh! Hot ready. breath in the air. Floor is lava. Don't Diablo Bison wait. once again falls to the hands Another of no. Team Spooky. <laughs> Save it. <laughs> has got his number. Yeah, he really does. Like, the thing is, you see that match, and it's just like he knew everywhere Diablo Bison wanted to be yeah. at the, all times. The and angles. yeah, and the claps go around because both in fifth place. Dual yep. Kevin and Diablo yep. Bison. Indiana is out trying to defend the hometown, but we still got our Midwest representatives. Of course, we here. got Splash and Rob TV. Splash and Rob TV. Winners finals, by the way. Yes. Not what you expect. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, uh, considering how one match was going to go. Okay, we'll stop mentioning. No, 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 I'm not going to forget it. No, you're not going to forget it? No, I'm not going to forget it. <laughs>
You can. No, nah, I'm, I'm not going to forget it either. Rob deserved it. He deserved every minute of it. <laughs> uh, his awareness was immaculate. He yeah. saw the situation, saw he the saw, He saw the and just used his worldly Hollywood powers to will a win to existence. Hey, he rewrote the script, yeah. if you will. I mean, maybe yeah. maybe we're just living in a reality TV show ourselves. <laughs> oh you never know. <laughs> you know, some of that Truman uh, show stuff? Yeah. Maybe that's what we're living in. They wanted to see how they would react oh, to that man. situation. Yeah, I've been fooled. <laughs> been bam is, bamboozled. Is, yeah, Clutch is a uh, reality show. Jesus. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Maybe eventually. <laughs> Maybe eventually. You never know. Uh, you never know. <laughs> but yes, we are going to have Hazardous Rob TV versus Splash from Kentucky. Now, this is interesting because he has obviously, you know, used to play Karn. Um, he mm -hmm. also shown that he has a pocket cami as well. Yeah, he's he's developed a cami because you know he's a tier tier enthusiast. <laughs> Definitely. So I guess a very aggressive uh, player like Splash, mm -hmm. I would wonder if you are content with playing with the boom game, which mm -hmm. is not a bad yeah. option, or do you just want to rush her down with cami or Karn? I mean, Karin? you, you kind of see what happens against uh, players who are kind of aggressive. So they earlier today. Uh, Rob TV had a first to ten exhibition with Because I'm Batman, and oh. Because I'm Batman washed it. Oh, really? It was like 7 2 at one point. The end score ended up being 10 6. Okay. But uh, you know what was killing him is just like Batman's pressure and just like his jump timings, like you saw with random high fives, really gave him problems. Yeah. And I feel like against a character like Laura, who can put that pressure on you, and if they get one good jump in, could end it all in an instant. I feel like you might go with something else, but we'll see what Rob does. I've tried to read the Rob, Rob's mind many times, <laughs> and I've been wrong on his character choices too many times. Right, so we'll, we'll see. He chooses so Guile out here. So. Yes. So I hear the Guile pick, so he does pick a Guile, like, but like on paper. Right? Yeah, no, not a bad choice. You can definitely control the, the space, especially with Splash, who, you know, was using a lot of unsafe options, but very risky options, but he was making it work. Right, right. Fight. All right, here we go. Yeah, and you kind of saw the weight from Rob TV at the start of the round. And you see Splash open up with two stand roundhouse. Right. One got stuff, but yeah, that's his uh, poke of choice now. Yeah, and Rob TV, you know, is waiting, but waiting too long. Yeah. It's dash for command grab for his shovels. Yeah, early, early command grab. Crouch Pierce. Crouch Pierce. What a button choice. Ooh. Oh my uh -oh. god. You're in trouble. <laughs> you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Ooh, I like that. An another command grab. And like I said, one good read. Ended that round. Rob is going to, fix, uh, going to have to fix, uh, fix his face right here. Uh, yes. And once again, this is winner's final, so this is going to be three out of five. Oh, yeah. So they got a little bit more to play. but Yeah, it's going to be a long, long haul. See, playing a little bit more active with the uh, Sobot. Ooh. Ooh. And that's an adjustment uh, Rob likes to make is when he goes down around. Is like, use a lot more Sobot hits. Yeah. And it typically works out. Wow, he actually yeah. caught the roundhouse. Yeah, great awareness and that uh, backdashing those command grabs now. Ooh, crush counter. And now he still has V trigger. Ooh, try to wait. Great wait from Splash. Oh, oh, big bet from Rob. That might be the end. Yeah. Stun combo should be able to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's, no. oh wait, yeah, no. Critical art. Yeah. Minimum scale, damn! <laughs> right damn. That first thing. <laughs> you expected a little <laughs> tiny bit, damn! No, that was it. <laughs> Game over. Yeah, minimum Splat, scale, fifty yeah. percent. Splash goes up one own oh, no. in a quick. quick. Yeah, and that's, that's a, why you were saying before is yeah. that you wonder if maybe a Karen pick might be better. Like, try, I feel like trying to play defensive Round against one. so many different aggressive one. type players, yeah. it can be really stressful. Yeah. Right, it's mentally taxing because it's oh, all he jump. has to do is jump at a certain time. Right. Yeah. That's him. But. And like, when you think about it, it's like, yeah, they're the ones making the risk, and that that sounds pretty good. But man, it puts a lot of stress on you as a player, yeah. especially in this game. It's very hard to react to a certain time. Like dashing as well is really strong. Ooh, back throw. Okay, gets the space. Oh no, Stand interrupted the so bot. Uh, here we go. That beat, that new beat trigger activation. Yeah. yeah. Lost the 50-50 that you saw in season three. Uh -huh. so it's not quite as good. Dang. Oh, she is eating some boom. Yeah, she is taking one. Just outside the range. Oh, oh here it the goes. overhead. Splat oh, does. that's it. I'm calling that the splash special. He gets use of that V skill overhead right. so much. Yeah, no, and it works out. Hit too, so oh yeah. Ah, so. uh, okay. It's crazy. Oh, great whip punish though. Knows what Splash wants to look for. Nice. nice. Punish. Great yes. punish. Okay. 
Back off. Yeah, trying to back off here. It's here. Yes, that medium kick. Very good choice for that range. And yeah, now you kind of see Rob mixing up his anti-air timings. Yeah. Oh, great back dash. Yeah, great back dash. That nerf to command grabs in, in AE. Getting in full effect to get a full punish off of back dash. Trying to kill Splash Rush right, feature trigger. Gets his chance. Front throw. Ooh. Oh, Whoa, the spacing and using that strong stand like kick, try to close up the oh. round. But the anti air yeah. was not there. The cross up jump light kick was yeah. just right oh, over it. And Guile's short jump art, along with that great jump short, uh, really makes it a good option to try and get out of the corner for that. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of Guile players are really out for that. And the, the normal timing from Flash has been really good. Walking up Stan Fierce, but decides to put himself in the corner. I don't know. He's trying to jump out. Ooh, that was needy. Yeah, Splash is taking notice. Ooh. Oh, man, the pressure. Could have been a command grab. Just up for frame traps. Okay, okay, sweep into activation. Oh, oh caught him. Caught him slipping. He's gonna spin the to get the extra damage and the pushback on that. So good. Laura coming in. Whoa, oh, nice. great challenge. Spins the meter again. Yep, and that's good damage. Anti oh, oh no. that was that was a flash kick. Oh, sure and then the I feel like he Sick. did one of those frustration flash kicks. Oh my god, he went for the oh. reset, and that's gonna put Splash up 2 0. Oh. 2 0. Oh. And this is 3 out of 5 oh, winners' win. finals. Yeah, but Rob has time to think about yeah. it. Take that last sip of water that you got. You don't have, <laughs> you don't have much left. So uh, we'll see if he opts for a switch or. No, he's going to go straight into it. Okay. Yep, man. He's confident in the guy, so. This is basically his main since AE dropped, so. Oh, just outside the range. <laughs> so scary. Oh, man. Missing the anti airs again. Oh, oh punched. Five knuckle shuffle. Just that one. Oh, plus. Yeah, the four spears ah. into activation. You have to guess as much as plus. Oh, oh, other side. Oh, oh no misses. Confirm, though. Yeah, misses in. This is a huge chance for Rob. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh. Splash's command guys are on oh, point. No. Red the back dash. And Splash is on match point against Hazardous Rob Rob Splash is like awareness to like the opponent's defensive choices right. are really strong. Yeah, and that's that's what you gotta do as Laura. As, yeah. as a grappler, I know a lot of people don't consider it as a true grappler, but still. Uh, the of, if, as long as you have a threat of a command grab, you are yeah. a grappler. There's just a lot of grapplers. <laughs> All right, Rob desperately trying to get some space. Jump short. But it's out of that command grab. Bro, this looks like Rob's uh, round right here, but. Laura is glowing red. Yeah. Oh, and there, there it is. is. What's the mix-up? This is the oh, game. The trade. Oh, uh, regular throw. We keep it a little safe. Yeah, trade right there is fine. Hide behind. Ooh, plus. Didn't want to risk going under the uh, the fireballs. Man, man, he throw. just really pushed Rob all the way in the corner. Great confirm, though, off the flash kick. That's great. He's waiting for the, the jump. Yeah, Rob puts himself on the board. Yeah. Made that a lot easier to pop feature. A lot of players don't really do that. I feel like they're, they're content with going with plus frames off the normal. But Dang. Yeah, yeah, nice stuff right there. And now uh, Rob's boom game is a little bit more active now. Yeah, but Stan Roundhouse crush jump. counter. Ooh, try to reset again. Try to mix up on that second layer. Ooh, the Soba kick. And Pierce coming oh, in. Overhead. Still in the corner though. Could have been a whip punch, nothing there. Oh, and that gets him out of the corner emphatically with a back throw to the corner. Woo! For the, for the plus frame, there it is. Yeah, I like that. The patience from Splash. Trying to bait the DP. Oh, he tried the upside down kick, but Splash pressed the button anyway. Got away with it. Look at that what range. a jump! That's so scary. Overhead again. Oh, no. Oh, it's bad. no. It up. Oh, Flash kick to save his life. It worked out. No. And he's running. Or his dear life, his tournament in life in winners is on the line. Oh, the timing. Match, yeah, Splash. matching oh. the booms. Oh, he definitely tried to put. Oh! oh! And Splash with the bravest and bravest of EX command grabs takes it against Rob TV. 3 0, knocks him into the losers' finals. Oh, good. Kentucky boys are getting high. You see Kinder Party out <laughs> here putting in for his boy. Yeah. Knocked out, uh, sent, uh, sent Rob to uh, TV. Yeah. Music, so.
up. That was really cool, like the, the range that he was standing at. Like, right. he saw that Rob was walking back, and then he just, that range that was really uncomfortable because he could have jumped short. Mm -hmm. Like, he was just walking forward, just waiting. Yeah, and that's it, the thing about Guile walking back is that if you can get the Guile to walk back, then your your whole game opens up. Right, because you should get rid of the flash kick. Option. Yeah, you get rid of the flash kick, and his anti airs are a lot harder, and then they'll be scared to throw a boom, and yeah. then you can jump over it. But I, I think because he interrupted a couple soul bats in the beginning, uh, it really made Rob hesitant on the soul bat because he could have just counteracted with soul bats with that walk forward. But you see, Rob just he was just walking back, and then right, yeah, he was scared. He was yeah. just walking back. He wanted all that space. Yeah, and then jump short. Caught him panicking, and then ES command grab through the fire. Oh yeah, no, that, that was that, that was range was still that was like that's what made that happen because like right. could have sonic boom, but ES command grab in there. So yeah. yes, up next we Ooh. have random high fives versus Team Spooky Safe, aka Arturo Sanchez, aka Young Art, <laughs> aka I Miss Rose. <laughs> but yeah, so random high fives. We'll see who he goes with. I know, so you know, Keith for Sim. Not the best matchup for Geef, to say the least. And I would imagine it didn't get better. No, for, for not Geef. not really. And so, in the past, Random High Fives has picked uh, up a pocket Guile. I mean, not Guile, uh, Balrog. Balrog, okay. Pocket yeah, Balrog. I, he was I practicing know. combos with yeah. him. So. so, we'll see. Yeah, he was practicing combos with them earlier yesterday. So, we'll see if that comes into play. We'll see. But, you know, like, like we've said earlier, Art's NLBC experience against strong Balrogs. Especially like Smug. Yeah. He knows that match. So he we'll see how that goes. And it's definitely not as bad as it was in season two. Oh, no, of course not. Even with the Vitria 2 mm -hmm. uh, change. Like, still so, scary, but. There's that. And like I said, he does have a Seku. I don't think he's going to bring him out. Mm -hmm. Especially because I don't think Random High Five says himself that he still doesn't think Zeku's that strong. Yeah. So, well, we'll see. I think, it, honestly, you got to go out. You got to try to do it with your uh, try and true. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you've been sticking with Z uh, Geef since, you know, season one when he was at his oh, definite yeah. worst, you know. So, so he's no stranger to some oppression. <laughs> uh, I think uh, another thing that's going to be <laughs> interesting, too, is like, again, with every match against Arturo, how do you deal with Beecher 2? You know, mm -hmm. How does, how does High Five handle this? Yeah, he has some options with Beecher 1. You know, Larry can probably go through it. Very risky stuff. Uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't, it's not going to be easy for, for Geef. At all. It's not, but you know, all like we said, one. all it takes is one. Yeah. We have random high fives versus T.S. Saban, aka Arturo Sanchez. Let's get it. Right. Oh, new stage, too. <laughs> Seen a lot of training mode. Oh, yeah. Going, going to uh, Geese hometown. So, yeah, we'll see how uh, random high fives tries to weave through all these array of normals that Dalsum can put out. Oh, try to dash in right away. Yeah. Trying to close this is really quick. And that fireball is also just great because Geef is so tall. Ooh, that's true. That yeah, high man. arcing. Oh, Ooh, that's sweep. Kinda... And like we said, one of the best ways oh. to deal with that is a sweep, but pushing Art to the corner. The evasion. Oh, what a flex. Oh, so close to getting that. All the space that Archero gained. Just from sliding on yeah. Really big. Wow, the Lariat. That's what he was looking for before. Oh, here we go. And he's using V Trigger too. Look at how much damage this does. Oh. Into a mix up. Oh, he could have flexed. He was looking for the read, but the teleport actually sends him farther than, you know, a regular back dash. Yeah. Oh, this. and Roundhouse. Ah, oh, Sly and Art's been putting in a lot of work, but Sly. That's true. And yeah, here was our question. How does he deal with this? Oh, oh just Art eats it. It's cooked. Round two oh of my it. God. This is this looks hard to deal with as Geef. Because you have to make a raid on that Lariat. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh wow. It worked out. <laughs> it, <laughs> it worked, worked out. out. Yeah, this time command grab, but hey. Yeah, because he got the counter hit on the jab. Oh, didn't expect it to hit. Didn't yeah. even expect it to counter it. So. Yeah, too much hit stun. Oh, oh my god, the sweep. Oh, there it is. Heavy command grab is going to get a setup after this. Oh, get out of my air. Sweep again, the slide. Yeah, try to flex. Good grab from Arturo Sanchez. Ooh, in effect. Oh god, okay, so he's using the headbutt to try to get rid of one hit of that. Yeah, there it is again. God, that's so smart. And the Lariat. And the Lariat, what a reaction. Random high five is on one. Oh, Ooh. Oh, again. And the confirm. Big damage right here. Oh, that's it. No, oh. that white. 
Yeah, still had the option yes. to teleport. You are correct. <laughs> still had the option yeah. to teleport. Got a little ahead of myself there. Oh, he tried to parry. Oof. Standing right outside the stair fierce range. Outside the jump oh, roundhouse range too. A V trigger. Yeah, yeah, he had another V trigger. And the strength of a two bar V trigger showing. Had to deal with another V trigger too. It's like, I just oh, figured wow. out the first time. Yeah, so right? I figure it out again. Oh, oh, Stan Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Yeah, Stan Roundhouse has been putting in work for Random Eye 5s again! Art slowly backing up, trying to get his space. Art's gonna have to find a way to like get out of the yeah. already. Ooh. There's anti-air. Oh, try to read it again. Great patience from Arturo Sanchez. Yeah, but he gets the space he wants. So, yeah, trying to read it with the Lariat. Mm. Ooh. Great. Trigger. In effect, oh. anti air, the fireball. Oh, oh, oh no! Man. Yeah, just get flip. Reset. Yeah, he's gonna just activate. He falls into the V trigger too. Oh, man, this is yeah. really bad. I know, it, this is hard. Yeah. Now that you pop this, it, like, the threat's kinda yeah. gone. Especially oh. with the, the biggest thing is that the freeze for the activation. It's one of the strongest skills for it. Okay, and he's just gonna try to chip oh. out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you could do there. Yeah, but you know, you, you saw some of those rounds, and he had a lot of great reads, but it's still not enough. That's such an uphill battle. Yeah, what makes this match so hard is like, yeah, he can make the read, but then the teleports, the floats, mm -hmm. like, right. too many air movement options to uh, to really lock him down. And he's going to character select. Like, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't think the character change is gonna help work out. Yeah. As much as I love him. Yeah. I don't think his ROG is ready to be up to the task, so we'll see how it goes there. We'll see. Thinking about it. So. Space, though. Okay. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta take notice of the little things. <laughs> it's the little things in life that help out. Yeah. To achieve He's thinking about it. Like, ah, man. He's thinking about it, but... Man, the road of a grappler is not easy. Yeah. <laughs> it it's really not isn't. Easy. But man, man, you get those frees, man. That's why they stick with them. Mm -hmm. The reward you get for those those nice reads, but it may oh, not be going. enough. Ball yep. Ball. And he's and gonna go for it. B trigger two. B trigger two ball rod. Alright, let's see how this works out. And I guess uh, as a grappler player, B trigger two might help, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean he gets his own little SPD. You know, yeah. High stun. You know, so, yeah, set up. Let's see what uh random high fives can Fighting deal with in this matchup. Ball. Let the intros rock. Round one. Fight. Okay, and the biggest thing is like Barog's ability to kind of yes, snipe yeah. them, snipe out of the air. That is a huge difference right there. Oh, oh. punish though. Uh, Not a big punish yeah. though. Oh. oh, try to get him on the landing frames. No dice. Only one. Yes. And, and see the thing now. Arturo Sanchez knows the timing, and when he wants to do that, he's, he's actually punishing him. He's for actually it. floating at a higher. Uh, yes. Altitude, so. Yes. And I feel like random high fives was dealing with the floats a lot better with Geef actually. Yeah. And now V trigger yeah. here. This is looking bleak. Ooh. Oof. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, he tried to go for the overhead. Yeah. He's got to hold all this. Oh my oh god. My god. Yeah, he's he back on the other win. side. He can blow it back. <laughs> oh, oh no. Man. And just runs into all the flames. Yes. Through the fire and the flames. <laughs> so much fire. Round two. And now Arturo Sanchez is on match point. Yeah, looking to move on. Didn't really get much going with Ball Rock in the last one. Oof. Yeah, and now Art, like we said, is switching up his playstyle. He's just going in. Dash though, big difference. But yeah, still not getting the mix ups he needs. Oh, okay. there, there's something. The sweep. Hey, pressure and Arturo Sanchez smartly blocking all the pressure. Oh, B -trigger. There it is. B trigger activation. Oh. Whoa! Wow. All right. Minus two. Yep. He has B trigger active now. <laughs> Look at that. The height. The height and. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Great block though. Oh no. Really get out. 
Oh, oh my god. He's still on the screen. Oh! Archil's the movement. Yeah, the great blocks, though. And random high fives, despite all that, is still alive. Oh, no. Not for long, though. Oh, good block. Oh, oh no. that was super. Gets another chance. Low, low. The blocks, though. Low. Oh, that was he. Mm. He had a chance, I think. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh my oh. god. That is the reads of a Geek player. One Super hit. the jump light punch. Auto. Random high fives. Clutching victory from the brink of defeat. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Let's see if he can make it back. I'll set the block. Oof. Trade on the anti air. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that grab. He hasn't established the grab yet, so it's a good grab to use. Uh, trigger back up. Oh man, oh. yo, this ping pong game is so scary. Oh, I don't want to play. Oh, oh my up. god. Oh no. This is rough. Plus. Oh my god. Oh. This yeah, we play Marvel 3. <laughs> Marvel 3. Oh no, here's a Ooh. chance. Oh. oh no, didn't get to confirm. No, he didn't have either. I think he was it's gonna activate right. minus two though. Great challenge from Arturo Sanchez. I like that usage to get the gym to get him close. Okay, it's an overhead situation, and here it is. Oh, and just clipped them low. And the look of disappointment on random high fives. Plays, but great showing great. from Marcus, aka random high fives. You know, think out here from Chicago, taking a fourth place. Yeah. Really disappointed though, especially how things shaped up yeah. in yeah, that winner's side of that bracket. <laughs> Man. Oh well, you gotta run it back. And now, yeah. <laughs> He'll come back stronger though, I think. Yep. So now we will have Arturo Sanchez versus Rob TV. Rob TV. So one of our stretch goals for the match, one of the stretch goals for the match arena you know, is Arturo versus Rob TV. Definitely. <laughs> here's the thing, we gonna get that in this bracket too. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of it. Yeah, here's the thing. So like we're basically almost close to the thousand dollar stretch goal. So Matrino is a crowdfunding platform that we use to uh, crowdfund our community based tournaments such as uh, Naptown Clutch. The um, the crowdfund is going towards Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Street Fighter V, and they will be split evenly. If we reach a thousand dollar goal, top five will be paid for each game in the form of a five hundred dollar pop bonus. Thanks to you guys. So. If you want a way to help for free, log in with your Twitch TV name and use the uh, promo code CLUTCH18 on top of your screen to donate 50 cents for free. There's also other ways that you guys can donate for free as well. You can check out these click sponsors that are on the uh, right of your screen. Take a couple minutes of your time, open another window and click them, verify with Match Arena, and it will donate to the prize pool automatically. And there's also some items in the store you can check out as well. And uh, shout out to the donors. The top five donors right there. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you guys so much. Also, up next, um, shout out to Air Dash, Air Dash Club, subsidized hype. It's available now at airdash.club. And shout out to them for throwing a $250 pop bonus for Marvel. Up next, um, join the battle at redbullconquest.com. Shout out to Red Bull's events all across the U.S. And uh, the, the first one we're talking about is coming April 28th in Chicago, Illinois. Up next, uh, Hitbox Arcade. Be sure to check them out at hitboxarcade.com. Follow them on Twitter at hit underscore box. And they have like some great keyboard style control here I want to check out. Uh, oh, yeah. and, and of course, guys, um, this quality of production is brought to you because of, of the supporters of Team Spooky. And if you're not aware, there's a way to support the stream for free. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it to Twitch. Check out twitch.amazon.com forward slash prime. And you can subscribe uh, for free, and you get all these nice emotes, and you get all these loyalty badges. Here, here's an example of where your money goes to. So, right now, Naptown Clutch, we are streaming Curly Mustache on Twitch.tv forward slash NYC Furbu, and um, they're having they're having their tournament on over there, and we're gonna have some retro games as well. Not only that, the VOD is for the uh, secondary channel. Actually, they're all being uploaded at YouTube.com forward slash FGC Sabin immediately. And, and like we're queuing up more live, so definitely go there and subscribe. And be sure to check out youtube.com forward slash Teen Spooky for the uh, main channel VOD, which is right here. Also, you know, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash NYC Furby. Yeah. All right, so anyway, so let's get back to it. Thank you, guys. Yes, and so you will have the 
man who is basically doing everything right now. He's playing, he's streaming, right. two stream basically. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna go up against Hollywood, Rob TV. Hollywood. Hollywood. Hollywood TV. Hollywood enough to. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so we will have Gerald Sanchez versus Rob TV. We'll see how it goes yeah. because I know Rob historically has struggled against Sim. It's true. Even but. even when he played Karen, you know, her explosive nature helped him out in that matchup. But now he doesn't really play Karen. Guile versus Sim is historically not a great match not for Guile. Not very comfortable for him either. And then his Cammy is still new. So between yeah. those three characters, I don't know what he'll go with. You saw against True God, one of his Ohio homies in yeah. pools, who was also a Sim player, he played Cammy against him. It worked out too, actually. And it worked out, it worked and that's out. how he got into Winter Stop 8. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he tries to go for it here against Art, a more, you know, in a different type of matchup. Yeah. And once again, one of the big, big differences is Arturo's use of V-Tricker 2. You saw it in that match against Random High 5. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> him ping-ponging that V-Tricker 2 very at you is though. very frustrating, very scary. You, you, you got to just hold lockdown. <laughs> you got to hold all of that. Yeah, hold all of that. But, so, I mean, with a character like Cammy, I think um, she doesn't really have to deal with it, um, especially if you have meter. EX Drill does a really good job mm -hmm. of evading a lot of that. Um, I would imagine Rob picked Cammy, actually. Yeah, I, I think that's what he's doing with him. He's already shown that that's who he, he used for Sim, and that's what it's going to be. Tier Enthusiast Hollywood actually on TV, Rob TV. Oh, He's definitely someone that um, he's, he really studies matchups. Right. Like, he has yeah. that written down, so. If the numbers add up, he will switch characters yeah. if he has to. Mathematical approach. Yeah, this, this makes sense. Numbers guy. All right, here we go. He's going to go with Cammy against Dalsim. Yeah, this is uh, Loser's semi, so. Uh, Loser's finals. Loser's finals? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Because uh, Rob lost his last, right? So, Round yes. One. This is three out of five. Yes, three out of five. Right. Loser's finals. Mm -hmm. Already trying to catch a limb with that stand fierce. Yeah. And that stand fierce buffer into drill is one of the big things in this match. And and, and the reason why Arturo is floating up so high is because of that reason right there. Oh, DP though. DP though, it has very strong horizontal range, so it can catch that floor. It doesn't have to spin meter either. Oh, oh. dive kick. Really plays dive kick. Yeah, and he's gonna be minus off that situation. Mm. Wow, jumps Added into it. the corner now. Look at what you gotta hold. Rob is basically locked down in this corner. Yes, and that's one of the best things to do, even though he got caught, but having to walk forward and just block it as soon as you can. That's true. Uh, but the, with that walk speed, though, you can like, yeah. gain a lot more space than you would with like even Gao. Like, this walk speed is good for Kami since one of the best. Yes. And now, oh, that's yep. a jab. Oh, oh, yeah, try to get that punish on the landing frames, no dice. Yep, Ooh. and he can't go through that. Yeah, try to activate to see what he can do. And blocking it immediately again, oh. but big bats! Uh. Okay. Gonna use that last drill on the beat trigger. He has him in the corner. Could have been a DP. Mm -hmm. wasn't looking for it. That could be confirmed as well. Oh! Gets under. Wow! Gets under and gets a throw. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> Last round. Fight. Yeah, these pokes. Are, even though she has low life, these pokes are not a really big deal. Oh, mm. but that is, yeah, definitely. And even, oh, yeah, and he's so good at evading when Rob wants to DP. Yeah. Oh, oh, there it the is. delay dive kick. That's, that's a strong tool. Yeah, that's what makes her so strong. You can time it at any, like at any point. Right there. Oh. oh, wow. Oh god, I fire. Oh, oh wow, just drill. Not a bad option. Yeah. No forward throw. Backing up and decides not to block it this time. And look at how much space oh. you're losing now. Look like because of it. Here we go that. again. Ooh. Oh, got rid of it. Oh, and the instant overhand. Arturo's gonna go up on the first game. Yep, first game goes to Dolphin. Save it. Win. Yeah, we'll see if Rob just elects to stick with this the whole match. You know, Rob is kind of like a stubborn guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I think he, he might just Round go one. 
ride or die with Cam in this match right now. Because I think I know eventually this is the match he wants to use. Why not get perfect matchup experience in the tournament setting? Also true. Make it better for the next game or the next tournament. Oh, oh wow! The sweep. the sweep! Oh, he tried to go for the crush counter roundhouse. Yeah, not gonna work out. Oh, it's not gonna work out. And I think the biggest thing is that you kind of see because Rob is still new to Cammy, just his instincts aren't there. Not quite, yeah. Like you see him, he wants to get that DP. No, the space is not there. Our uh, chance gonna take that in the first round. The second game, a strong, strong advantage from that turn. Showing his knowledge too, as well. And because Rob here or there is getting in, but you know it's not winning him the game. No. Trying to get those drills. There we go. Oh, oh. oh wasn't ready for it. A lot of pressure, but like no clean confirm. And once again, showing kind of his new experience with the character. Gets it right away, oh. but gets hit with the front. Mix up. Oh. Can in the front. It's got him. Oh. Drill. Oh, drill. side switch though. Oh, I Loses think he could have drilled to, to win that. Oh. You're actually right. Okay, activate and last leg on this round. Oh, he was in there. Gets a chance, but only plus one. He jumped, and Arturo actually pressed that medium kick. And if he had believed in his jump, he could have got a clean jump in, and that could have spelled a lot of momentum for Rob. But eh. not how it worked out. Yep. Now, yes, here's the thinking phase, because he has to think. Oh. And here we go. <laughs> He's thinking, all right. He's thinking, I'm going to gotta kill him. I'm going to rush him down. Yep, but and then he's locked into Cami for the rest of the set. Yeah, Archer is just this face. And, and really once good. again, we see that switch of styles. He, now he's just going in. He is the one who's controlling the corner now. Yeah. He does have a two-game adventure. He has the, the time That's to like, true. take that risk. And Rob has to show the oh, wow, the roundhouse. Okay. And it worked out. Okay. Yeah, he's going nuts. He's going in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, great challenge for Arturo Sanchez. Knew that situation. Got tagged. Ooh, oh, the no. TP again, and Arturo is just so good at reading when he wants to DP and just teleporting out of harm's way. Yeah. And now that puts him on match point. All right. Rob's got to pull something. Yeah. Oh, the dive okay. trade. There he is. Got in. Kind of hit. He's in there. Get. Oh, oh wow, he's trying to dash it to steal a turn again. Even though Crouch Short is minus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Little here. Look at the activity from Arturo Sanchez. No, Arturo's definitely good. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, not quite plus. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, that's jump jab. Beats out the EX dive kick. Arturo is definitely playing with a purpose right now. Pops it again. Nothing Ooh. there. One more. One mix up. Oh, the, oh low. the low. Jeez. Empty jump low. Stood the test of time the throughout way. many fighting games. And Arturo moves on to Grand Finals. All right. Against Splash, too. Yes, against Splash. The run back. The run back. So, yeah. Grand Finals is coming up next. As, as we get set up, yep. hopefully, and y you see this man, Arturo, go back, <laughs> just deal with the stream setup. Yeah, again. right. He just came from like whooping Rob's ass, and then he comes straight to the stream. It's like, is everything okay? Is everything okay? Great, everything's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know everything's fine, but you know, you know, we gotta please that lovely sponsor. So, of course. Yeah, we'll be right back. Of course.